Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1 Fathead Candy Roth. Uh, we're going to be uh, low to mid 40s, and after a little precipitation rolls away this morning in certain spots, uh, we're going to get some sunshine this afternoon. So why not? Let's enjoy. It's incredible. I say yes. I mean, you know what we could be doing right now? Shoveling. Shoveling snow. Yeah, it's it's Don't really do that. It's incredible. The extended forecast is showing this coming weekend 50s candy. So I'm not. I'm not. I, thank you. Thank you, universe. Yeah. Thank and you. by the way, in the world of school, uh, there it's an extended weekend. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, day Monday. So yes, yeah, coming up next weekend. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, another uh, well, another Saturday break. we see the marvelous Maeve. My girlfriend Ellen has been cleared. She can pass through the front door of their home. Yeah, but wait, hold on. Esme, we hold are on. all going to meet See ya, uh, Maeve. Hold on, hold on. How do you clear someone six days before the event? No, no, she had to get that whooping cough shot. Yeah, but... Uh, wh- and while she-, she got it last week, it'll be 12 days, not 14. Is she taking a uh, 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 COVID test of before course, entering? we're all going to take that, yes. Okay, okay. Hey, right. We're being allowed through the... The arch doorways into heaven. Oh, you're going to see your little girl. It's beautiful. I've seen her, and I love her, and I can't wait to see her again. <laughs> Ellen has not met her face-to-face like that. That's beautiful. It's going to be a big deal. Very exciting. Um, earlier in the show, I uh, told you I had something about law and court cases, Candy. Mm-hmm. For the first time, um, an AI robot lawyer is going to argue a court case next month Hmm. all right so there's a website that has tools to help people fight parking tickets or get their bank to reverse things or you know issues like not major court cases we're talking right now just smaller things and this website says they've got an ai program that listens in on court cases comes up with real strategies in real time and they're going to use it to help someone fight a speeding ticket Next month. Now, they haven't revealed where because it's basically illegal. Most courtrooms don't allow electronic devices that connect to the Internet. So they picked a courtroom that allows for Apple AirPods to be used as hearing aids. And the person fighting the ticket will have AirPods in while the robot lawyer listens through their cell phone and tells them what to say, Candy. Oh, Yes. Interesting, hmm. no? It's interesting, but it seems like an you know, an extra step they have to I don't know. Well, we'll the, see how it goes. The right, the person is fighting a parking ticket. It's not this is not life or death, right? So, um, you know, and they're going to get this robot lawyer. What do you what do you think the future of law how robots? How much does that robot lawyer get an hour? I that's a great question. I don't know the answer to this, but hmm, I wonder. I don't know, you know, uh, don't know that I love bringing the robots into the courtroom, Candy. Um, yes. It'll be interesting to see what happens with... So there uh, was an interesting piece, I believe it was on Sunday morning, about using artificial intelligence. They do this testing. Uh, they were talking about the pancreas. Mm. That they can see more than the human eye through these tests, and they're getting much better results. And uh, Patrick Swayze might be alive today. He might be alive today had he taken a look at his pancreas before Mm -hmm. things took a turn for the worse. Mm. They can spot little polyps, whatever it is. Um, Yeah, it was fascinating. And that they actually do a better job than humans. Well, making great, great strides. Yep. You know, Uh, putting putting all this technology to good use, which, by the way, uh, today is um uh oh, why did i think i thought there was something regarding uh uh technology i must have got that 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 was a different day um candy today is uh international choreographers day today i think in my mind i'm a choreographer please just stop right there <laughs> I'm not entertaining your ridiculous <clears throat> thought of being I'm a choreographer. Kidding. I'm not kidding. Okay, I'll Paul Abdul. Music and I'll, exactly. 
I'm listening to music and I'm literally thinking, oh, that would be a good, this would be, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a choreographer in my head. Uh huh. It's National Balloon Ascension Day today. So we all release our balloons today? I suppose it, um, it commemorates the first balloon flight in 1793. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Walnut Street Prison in Philly, above a large crowd, uh, Jean-Pierre Blanchard, the French aeronaut, uh, ascended in, in a balloon. So, oh, uh, you're talking about a big balloon, not just yes. a helium balloon no. you buy at the store. No. Uh, it is National Clean Off Your Desk Day today. Always a good idea. Yeah. Nothing wrong with, uh, with, with uh, you know... A uh, little, little early uh, 2023 cleaning. Get ready for the uh, year here. Um, National Apricot Day. When's the last time you had apricots? I love dried apricots, but I haven't even had any of those. I can hardly remember. Yeah, I am same. I don't know about apricots. At National Static Electricity Day today. This is the season for static electricity. Whenever I touch anything, like if I uh, a light switch or, or the TV, I'm moving the TV because it's on a swivel. What like I always tap it first. I you know like certain. You ever do that? You tap things first before you grab oh, yeah. hold. No, and you get a shock. Absolutely. Yeah, you got You got to tap it. Get the uh, get the static out before you. Uh, get the uh, static out. And it is National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day today, Candy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yes. Yes. The word is a big yes with a big Y-E-S. Thank yes. you. Thank you to our uh, law enforcement. I can't even imagine uh, this day and age, you know, waking up and saying, I'm going to be a police officer and I'm going to go to the academy. And, and I give uh, our law enforcement so much credit. Candy. So much. Really. Uh, because you know they get uh, they they don't get any credit. They take anymore. a lot of abuse is what yes. they take. It's a lot of and and put themselves in uh, in a lot of danger yes. as well. So no doubt about that. Uh, that is a big deal. National Law Enforcement Day. You have uh, a cop in your life, or uh, any you know any type of law enforcement. Um, you know someone that you you want to say thanks way to. Way too much pistachios last night, day. What you had pistachios last yes. night? Yes, I'm never buying them again. Well, they're not the healthiest. Stop. I couldn't stop eating them. Yeah. Um, are these shelled or not yeah, shelled? Not shelled. Okay, so at least you're doing some work. <laughs> I mean, if you bought the shelled ones already, God. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I couldn't stop. I was like a demon. I, uh, I, I go right past the pistachios I'm in done. the aisle. Cause Never buying them again. They're so bad for you as far as nuts go. They're not oh. the best. And my father used to lay in bed eating pistachios. Love them. Yeah. Oh, they're amazing. Are you kidding Love me? Love them. Yeah. But I'm... I could not stop. I said, you know what? You can't buy these ever again. I am sorry. I am sorry you had to deal with that. <laughs> uh, Candy, a Philadelphia Eagles fan, last week did CPR in the stands, Not not at this game, but last week against the Saints, uh, a, Phil a Philadelphia Eagles fan did CPR in the stands, saved a guy's life last week, and he was in full face paint when he did it. He's an ER doctor. Oh. He performed in a parade before the game, was still in costume. A nurse in full Eagles gear also helped him. They got a, the heart going again of this person, and the first question he asked when he came to, uh, when the guy came around was, what was the score of the game? <laughs> How about that? So, wow. Yeah, and uh, incredible. Now, do I want my ER doctor dressing in face paint at a football game? It's an interesting mm. thought. I was yes. thinking, what kind of a doctor paints his face to go to the Eagles? What yeah. do I know? Yes. Um, an 18-year-old pilot pulled off an emergency landing on a road near San Bernardino, California last week. Had three family members on board with him. The engine cut out. Grandmother was in the back seat crying. He's been flying since he was 16, just recently got his license, and eventually wants to be an airline pilot. Well, he was able to save the family and get them down safe on the ground. Can't he? Which, thank heaven. Yeah. And here's a trend. A TikToker in Maryland, Rory McCarty, recently met an 82-year-old Walmart cashier named Butch Marion, who's a Navy vet, still working at Walmart at 82. 
And Butch was so nice, Rory started an online fundraiser, raised over $100,000 to help him retire, and then he showed up, gave Butch a giant check after his final day of work last week. They both got emotional and uh, just incredible. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. Can't believe it. People are doing great things for, they are uh, for every others. Day, and we don't see it all the time, but we should. Yes. Should. A renewed hope in the world. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, have a great rest of your Monday today, Candy. Thank you. You do as well. Yes. What do you uh, got planned for today? Uh, you know, the usual work, uh, kids, see what's going on with uh, school. And um, I failed to mention uh, earlier in The Bald and the Beautiful, uh, tonight is the college national championship, Georgia and TCU tonight. So, now, what is TCU? Uh, I believe it's Texas Christian University. Got it. I wasn't sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Texas Christian. Um, and they're a big outsider. Yeah, big underdog. So we'll wow. see. Big game tonight. Georgia goes for back-to-back -back championships, and uh, we'll see. Big uh, shout-out to Ryan and Amanda, our great producers. Ryan, of course, also the host of our Saturday night mixtape uh, Saturday night dance party. Uh, so uh, great job to both. And our recap, everything from this morning, will be up about noon at licountry.com. Uh, Going to get to the uh, low to mid-40s, and there will be sunshine. Later today, let's Yay. hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.